All right, everyone, welcome back to another watch and talk here at Automotive Anatomy. So today I'm going to tell you guys how I snuck into the basketball team at my high school. <laughs> so when I was in high school, obviously, I've never played organized sports. Um, part of it is because we didn't have the money. Um, I'll share I'll share a quick story. Uh, I did. I got recruited by these, you know, this little club team. I was playing soccer, but with my buddies and this coach saw me and she's like, hey, this kid got talent. And she approached me. She said, "Hey, would you like to come and play with us?" Blah blah blah. I was like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't even have cleats." So she was like, "Yeah, I'll get you cleats. How about that?" And I was like, "That's cool." So I was like, "How much is this?" I think she was like, "It's like 150 bucks." And I was like, "You know what? We don't have the money." So she was like, "You don't have 150 bucks?" I was like, "No. I'm like my, you know, I have a single mom. Like we don't, we don't spend on anything that is not a necessity." And and she was like, "Hmm." I'll make you a deal. Uh, come out and, and practice with us and then play the first game. And if you score a goal, I'll, I'll, I'll waiver the 150. I was like, shoot. It's a win-win. So I, I I practiced with them. And then the, in the game, I scored two goals. And she was like, all right, cool, cool. She's like, yeah, don't worry about the, way, the, the money. She's like, next time, score two more goals and you get to keep these cleats. Keep in mind, the cleats had a hole in everything. They were they were dry. They were, they were you know, they were extremely old. But those were my very first set of cleats. They were bulky. They were much bigger than my foot. But, dude, I had cleats. You know, I never had cleats. So, I remember uh, telling my mom, you know, I played like half a season. They moved me up to with the older kids. And I told her, like, hey, like, would it be possible to, to get cleats? And, and she was like, uh, I don't know. We'll see. You know, in a couple of weeks, we, you know, I, I told her, like, hey, there's a game on Sunday. It'd be cool if I get some new cleats. And she was like, all right, finally, you know, you keep, you know, saying you want cleats. So I remember that day my stepdad, her, and I went to the Swami and they bought me some cleats. It was some black and white Nikes and they were about 90 bucks. That's expensive, you know. Keep in mind, we, we've always been of that you know shopping at sketchers bogo buy one get one for you know half off or whatever and, and so 90 bucks was a lot and i was like cool you know my mom's gonna go see me play and whatever so my stepdad hung out like i swear like 100 yards away from the game he doesn't care about soccer okay and my mom hung out with him the the first half with him and you know you know I, now looking back i i was like damn they're not watching me play whatever i'm gonna do my job so i scored one goal halfway and they're like oh cool you know we're playing good and then the second half she made it over to to my side and so she my mom and so my mom was with the coach now the coach had a potty mouth she was a lady she she had a big potty mouth she you know the way she she coached and i remember that game i i i scored two more goals in the second half so i had three goals and one of them was a beauty beauty i mean i i beat the defender it was pretty easy to beat the defender and i just hit it over the goalie's head and Beautiful goal. I remember I, I hit it, you know, with the front of the, the cleat. And I was like, in my head, not going to lie, I was like, man, these cleats are good. These are my, look, you know, good luck cleats. I just got them. So uh, we drove home. And my mom was like, hey, you're not going to play for that team anymore. And I was like, why? She was like, I don't like the coach. And I was like, okay, so can I play for another team? She goes, sure, we'll look into it. So we never got like never got into it. Um, so that was the last time I played for an organized time, organized sport. And it sucked. It sucked because I was like, man, I was good, you know, whatever. So come high school, I already knew not to ask. I wasn't going to play sports because it's expensive, because transportation, you know, things like that. One day out of nowhere, my buddy, it was my sophomore year, my buddy tells me, hey, you want to go play basketball with so-and-so? I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's go play. I know them. I'm like, where do they play? Oh, they play in the, in the small gym. I was like, all right, no problem. So we go, I thought it was just like a pickup game. No, these dudes were full on basketball, you know, practice. And I was like, dude, I don't think we can play here. He's like, yeah, they said we can play a pickup. So we play a pickup, you know, game, 50 minutes in, uh, some lady comes in, some, some Caucasian lady, and she goes sideline, and everybody runs to the sideline. I didn't know. My buddy had played for basketball, you know, they call it the, the YNBA, youth NBA. So he knew what it was. I kind of just follow suit. So she's taking attendance and obviously we stick out like sort, you know, we're the only two Hispanics. Plus I'm wearing shorts, like, you know, those jean shorts and I'm wearing chucks, those Converse <laughs> and like a jersey. I don't know what I was wearing. 
And so she goes at the back of the line. She goes like, what are you guys doing here? And who are you? And I was like, oh, uh, we're just here to work out. And so she looks at me. She goes, to work out? Um, this is a basketball practice. You know that, right? You have to be part of the basketball team. And I was like, oh, we don't know that. So she kind of gives us a look like, all right, stay. You know, whatever. I was like, okay. So once we, she starts having us do drills... Um, she quickly realized, oh, man, this guy has handles, you know. Now, my problem with me, I've always been, I had handles. I I wasn't fast enough. Uh, I can post, but I'm not tall enough. So, like, I'm that one dude that, I, where do I put you, man? Like, you, you need to lose weight and get faster or get taller and thinner and you'll be fine. Like, either way, you know. And I had handles um, and, and I can shoot. So, like, I, I just, I needed something, you know. Lose weight or get taller. And, and so... Uh, after that practice that day, it was a two-hour practice, and I practiced in my chucks. She tells me, and my buddy's like, hey, um, you guys actually did pretty good. And this was before tryout, so there's like a dead, you know, that's like a gap where they're only conditioning and, you know, a little pickup games. And then they do tryouts, and then they make the team. So she's like, hey, uh, come back tomorrow. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, same time. It's like, but bring basketball shoes. And I was like, I don't I don't have basketball shoes. She's like, what kind of shoes do you have? And I swear, I only had the chucks, but in different colors. I told her that. I'm like, oh, I have the same type of shoes, but in different color. So she kind of like smiled. She's like, okay, just make sure that whatever shoes you bring, you tie them up. Because, you know, I was like, okay, no problem. So I tied that. You know, I, I went back the next day actually with basketball shorts. So that was it. That was the routine. You know, I started, you know, practicing with them. Yeah, I still remember the, the one time that she's like, hey, tomorrow's at five in the, five in the, in the morning. And I was like, five in the morning, what? And she's like, you show up to basketball practice at five in the morning because we don't have that much gym time. I didn't know that back then, but she's, she was a walk-on, so she didn't have preferential time for the gym. So I told my I told my class, I'm like, wait, at five in the morning? She's like, yeah. And I was like, what the heck? Like, that's early. And they're like, yeah. Like, you know, we practice for about an hour and a half, and then class starts, whatever. I was like, okay. So I remember telling my mom that. I was like, hey, um, I got to practice at five. And she's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. She didn't even believe me. She was like, okay, um, well, you're going to walk because there's no transportation. I was like, yeah. So I walked it, you know, whatever. So that was like the thing. Sometimes practice ran until 8.39. So I walk it home and it was crazy. Now I look back, I was like, damn, man, like I need to be proud of myself, what I was doing. And the coach knew. The coach knew that I was walking because uh, one time she saw me. She's like, hey, Gus, was you, were you, were you the one at the light? And I was like, yeah. Because she got, she would get there early, and I would get there. I was already, you know, sitting there, and, and so she's like, "So you walk?" Or I'm like, "Yeah." So she, I think like she started getting to know like a little bit about me. She's like, "Man." So trials happened. My buddy and I made it. We kicked two kids out that had been playing in the YNBA for whatever for a long time. Uh, we were clearly better than them. And then um, I told her like, "Hey." Uh, I don't, I don't have the day that she gave us a packet for, for the, you know, shorts and basketball. There's different packages. Oh, if you want like the freaking sweat shorts and everything is more expensive. So the, the cheapest one was about 700 bucks. And I told her, hey, coach, can I talk to you after, after practice? She was like, yeah, cool. So I stayed later. I'm like, hey, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to have the money for this. Like my mom, you know, we, we just spent on bare necessities. And she was like. You know what? Um, we'll worry about it. Maybe we can do payment plans. And I was like, okay, maybe I can ask my mom for payment plans. So like, don't worry about it. Once we get to that, then we'll see. So I, you know, okay. I didn't order anything. And, and then the day came. She kept reminding us, hey, the, pa- the the payment is due. The payment is due this day. So I finally, you know, the payment. I, I, I had already had in my head that I was going to practice up to that payment day. And I was like, whatever, you know, that I, at least I got to practice with the basketball team. I used to tell me, I used to tell that to myself. At least I made the basketball team. So the payment day comes and, you know, we're in a line and we're, they're submitting their payments. And I'm the last one because I'm like, that's embarrassing. You know, I don't have the money. And so, right, there was like two people in front of me. And she was about to collect their, their, their envelopes. When she looks at me, she goes, guys, don't worry about it. We'll talk about it later. So I was like, oh, okay. So we didn't talk about it, you know, then when they got the shoes, like, you know, we got the shoes and I was like, damn, you know, she gave me the pair of shoes and I was like, and, and afterwards I'm like, Hey, I don't, uh, I mean, I, I haven't asked my mom about payment plans. I don't, you know, and, and she was like, don't worry about it. Just play good. And I was like, okay. So looking back that, that lady, you know, really looked out for me. She really helped me out. Um, and 
I mean, I, I, I'm, I still think about that time where I had, you know, three goals in one game. My mom tells me, hey, you're not going to play for that team anymore. I understand where she was coming from. You know, I, when you're an adult, you, you don't, you just, you don't like the, the adult, you know, another adult. So they're going to say, you know, no, that's not going to happen. So looking back, it sucks. But you know, it comes with the territory you live in, you learn. And and so I wanted to share that story with you guys because it's no different now. Like, if there's something that you want to go and do, go do it. Don't don't be afraid of anything. Don't let another adult kind of, you know, um, prevent you from, from accomplishing something. I know that, you know, if my nieces or my nephews or whoever wanted to play sports, I, I, I would be more than supportive and I'll buy you the cleats or, you know. I'll, I'll try to look out for you, but I don't know, let me know if any of you guys made it to the team by sneaking in in your high school team. Um, and I only played for one year, for less than a year for for other reasons, poor decisions on my end. But um, yeah, that's how I, that's how I got into the basketball team. I hope you guys enjoy this story, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.